Welcome to Ludred, your destination of choice. Why is it a destination of choice? Follow me and I'll show you all the cool things that will be happening here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Pancake in the whole Simba, why are you looking at me? <laughs> but anyway, so Simba, for those who don't know, Simba is my cat. Okay, so anyways, I thought I would have a sit down video today because I hardly do this and just talk to you guys about Ludreds and why this town is experiencing a wave of development and investment in different sectors and why everyone is talking about Ludreds. Okay, so Ludreds is a small town in, in the southern part of Namibia um, at the tip of Africa. You know, if you know Africa, just Namibia is down south there and we are at the bottom of the country basically <clears throat> this town is normally um, uh, known for fishing and mining so for those who don't know it's an old uh it's an old mining town it has a rich history in diamond mining and for those who want to know more i last week i uploaded a video on common scope and the history of that so it talks more on diamonds and mining and whatnot and how um it all started so please go to my channel and watch that video on common scope otherwise we would focus on this video today on nutrients okay Ludreds to be the talk of the whole world. So number one is green hydrogen. So before I dive into that, I just want to give an overview and the background on why this is huge and why everyone is talking about it. So as humans, we emit a lot of carbon by burning fossil fuels to generate power and uh, most countries most industries are trying to decarbonize and reduce their carbon footprint and that's why they are looking for sustainable solutions such as this so back to green hydrogen green hydrogen is produced from renewable energy basically using sources like wind solar or hydroelectric uh, power through the process that is called hydrolysis so during this process, water is split into its constituent elements, which is hydrogen and oxygen, as we all know, H2O. So then it's called green because it is produced using renewable energy sources that do not emit greenhouse gases or pollutants. Okay, so green hydrogen has the potential to replace coal and gas um in a wide trade of industries so if we are to look at namibia if we are to look at europe for example so there is a huge potential here and um a lot of industries will actually or has an opportunity to benefit from this initiative including the logistics uh power generation and desalination for example because they need water and they need desalinated water for this process and this is 
envisioned or it, it will be happening in Lutret. So it is massive. The reason why Lutret is a destination for that is because Lutret is windy. You know, I'm always complaining about wind and there is sufficient um, or constant supply of wind and what you need with, for the wind turbines to generate energy is actually wind. And then in Africa or in Namibia to be uh, there, there is a lot of solar or a lot of sun to generate solar energy and there is huge potential for that and that's why this will be happening in Nutrit. So it is uh, an opportunity for Namibia uh, towards the country's economy, towards uh, creating employment, towards uh, generating or uh, attracting investment to the country actually and yeah that's why it is the top of the town or the top of the nation or the top of the world basically Guys, secondly, the reason why everyone is talking about Lutrets is because of the oil that was discovered here in the south between Lutrets and Orangemund. So Orangemund is the town just south of Lutrets and then before South Africa. So Namibia is one of the final frontiers for oil and gas exploration with an estimated amount of volumes of 11 billion uh, barrels of oil and 2.2 trillion cubic feet of gas. So international oil companies, different companies such as Qatar Energy, Shell, Recon Africa and Total Synergies or Total Energies have partnered with Namibia's national oil company, Namco, um, and the Minister of Mines and Energy, basically to explore and extract these resources. So the successful exploration and production of these resources would actually bring a lot of uh, benefits to the town, to Namibia at large. And um, they are busy with the environmental impact assessment because that has to be uh, considered during this process. And um, just to be sure that uh, all potential environmental impacts and ensure that um, all operations are conducted in a responsible and a sustainable exploration and production manner basically so yeah that is the second um that is the second thing or project that will be happening in Rodrigo. the list is one that is closer to my heart which is the project I am working for or the company I'm working for it's part of the aquaculture industry which is a seaweed cultivating company Kel Blue and this also has a potential to bring so many opportunities or employment opportunities to the town so basically this involves uh, cultivation of seaweed so from already the lab and hatchery culture of small spores uh, to sporophytes that can be transferred in the field and then uh, designing of structures that are durable and strong enough to withstand harsh conditions at sea uh, transplanting these small 
kelps that we grow in the lab at sea they grow up to a harvestable stage and then they are harvested and processed into different products that are supporting the agricultural industry pharmaceutical industry and cosmetics industry so these are products such as biostimulant fucoidate and alginate and uh, potential also for agri-feed so it is uh, also one that is already helping to reduce the amount of carbon emissions because putting up this kelp forest they can sequester so much carbon so together with this and um, attaching a part of renewable energy into processing into different products helps to reduce their carbon emission and actually sequester more carbon from the ocean, from the atmosphere, into the deep sea sediment. So yeah, I think different stakeholders are gonna work together really well in this town to make sure that all these projects come to life and uh, they are done in a sustainable manner. And then the fourth one that is also uh, part of the aquaculture uh, project is the salmon farm. So the salmon farm will be uh, starting north of the Kelp Blue Pilot site. Uh, they are farming with Atlantic salmon in cages at sea. So this is also a big project, I think, with, with an investment of, with an investment of 350 million Namibian dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'll correct that number if it's wrong. And they got their uh, environmental clearance certificate now, and they'll be starting with the operation at sea. So it is exciting. So these are the new projects that are coming to Lutres in addition to what already exists. So currently we have fishing companies such as Pomona, Marco Fishing, uh, Nova Namp, or some people call it Pescanova, Sea Flower, and then we have the oyster farmers, we have the abalone farmers, we have um, the manganese, we have the diamond mining companies such as Perhebit Diamond Mining, Namdeb, and all the other projects and small business owners. So you can just imagine how much business activity is going to be happening in this small town that have been quite uh, overlooked and undermined for a long time. So big things are about to happen for Lutris guys um, and the town is just about to take that opportunity and run with it and see what they can do best for the town, for the country, for Africa. And yeah, um, yeah, so there was it. There's also other uh, uh, industry players like the Ludwig's Waterfront. They always host the Crayfish Festival. Uh, there's always a speed challenge. This town is up for great things. I'm telling you that now. And there's the Ludwig's Business Forum. Um, it's, so this is different stakeholders from different industries that came together to see how they can make Ludwig's a better uh, a tourist destination, attract different investments to town, attract business activity to town, see how they can actually develop the people in the town because development doesn't only have to do with infrastructure that you put up, but also the development you do to the people. So as much as you are bringing development to the town, it's also important that you develop the people to be able to receive that development better. So yeah, it's, it's quite amazing um, and quite exciting also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the videos. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.